in this two-part series, we're gonna look at how do we get that signature Connor McDavid lenient. In the first part, we'll look at, theoretically speaking, what is going on with some physics. And then in the second part, we'll look at practically how can we actually improve our lean with six simple tips and a drill. You're in for a nice one today, packed with information. So grab a notepad, because we're going straight to science class. So theoretically speaking, what is lean? Well, all lean is, is another way to describe mass displacement. And so mass displacement is how far your center of mass is away from your point of ground contact, point P, or your foot. And so the further you can get point G away from point P, the more mass displacement you have, and therefore, the more lean. And why is mass displacement so important? Well, it provides us speed with less effort because we're using gravity and momentum to generate our speed versus having to push. But how is it that we could sustain a position like this? Well, to understand that, we have to understand that we're only able to lean when we're traveling on a curve. And so what happens is, is when we're traveling on a curve, we have centripetal force that is pulling us into the circle and we have inertia that wants us to keep going in the same direction. And together, they combined into this pseudo force known as centrifugal force. Now, this is not a real force, but it gives us the feeling that we're being pushed out from the center of the circle. It's the same feeling you get when you take a really sharp turn in a car and you feel like you're being thrown to the other side. So it's centripetal force or centrifugal force, depending on how you want to look at it, that allows McDavid to get this much lean or mass displacement. So theoretically, how do we generate more centripetal force to lean more, to then get more speed. While looking at the formula, we could do a combination of three things. The first is we could increase our weight, which may be hard to do on the fly in a game. The second is increase our speed or velocity. And the third is to travel on a tighter arc. So lower the radius of our turn, which makes sense. Do you get the feeling of being thrown to the other side of the car on a slow wide turn? No, it's when you miss your exit and you have to take a really sharp turn so you're not late for practice. So let's first look at how we can lower our radius or turn tighter. Well, there's two ways to do so. We can either lower our Y angle, which is the angle between our skate and the ice, have more heel pressure, or in most cases, both. Now, if you want to know how lowering your Y angle and heel pressure allow us to turn tighter, I have two quick shorts explaining both. Now, the second part is how can we get faster? Well, there's plenty of ways to look at this. We could have better mechanics, we can get stronger, or from what we just learned, we could increase our mass displacement or lean. And here's where we get into a sort of chicken before the egg situation. Because in order to generate more centripetal force and mass displacement, and therefore speed, we need speed. Because the more mass displacement we have, the more speed. The more speed, the more centripetal force. And then the more centripetal force, the more mass displacement we can have. And then it's this perpetual cycle that repeats over and over again. And then on the flip side, the more mass displacement we have, the more Y angle. And the more Y angle, the tighter we turn. And the tighter we turn, the more centripetal force. Then the more centripetal force, the more mass displacement, and more speed, so on and so forth. And so partially why McDavid gets so much lean is that he's going so much faster than us. His speed allows him to get this ridiculous lean. But of course, there's more than that. So that's gonna put a wrap on part one. If you wanna know how we can improve our lean, practically speaking, with six simple tips and a drill, then make sure to subscribe and turn the bell notifications on for part two, where I'll be going over all of that. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.